Hello, I'm Zihal Rahman with the top stories here on Al Jazeera. Two more towns in Iraq have fallen to rebel fighters. Sadia and Jalila are both in Diyala province. The armed group known as the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant has already gained control of Mosul and Tikrit. Imran Khan has more from Baghdad. ISIL fighters and their associated groups are making significant gains. In Diyala province, they've managed to take over two towns and they're headed down to a third one. So the offensive still continues and what we're seeing is a, a, a large military, ISIL military presence in at least a third of Iraq. Now Ukraine says there have been many casualties after it launched an offensive against separatist fighters. The Interior Minister says government forces launched the operation in the southeastern port of Mariupol at dawn. Now, earlier in the city of Donetsk, an explosion killed three people and injured four others. The blast happened outside the headquarters of the breakaway movement. China and Vietnam have taken their maritime dispute over territory in the South China Sea to the United Nations. The latest standoff is over an oil rig which the Chinese moved into waters near the Paracel Islands. Rob McBride reports now from the South China Sea. There have been a number of clashes in recent weeks. Uh, the Vietnamese accused the Chinese of ramming their vessels. They have shown us documentary evidence, uh, videos from handphones uh, of uh, such events taking place. For their part, the Chinese claim that they have been rammed countless times by Vietnamese vessels in this uh, same dispute. There are lots of ships, lots of shipping in these waters at the moment, uh, both Vietnamese uh, and Chinese, as both sides uh, try to assert their territorial claims here. Afghan security forces are on high alert ahead of Saturday's presidential runoff. The Taliban has promised to attack polling stations on voting day. Former Foreign Minister Abdullah Abdullah is expected to defeat his opponent Ashraf Ghani. And you can follow all of those stories uh, on Al Jazeera by logging onto our website at aljazeera.com. That's aljazeera.com. Bye for now.